Hey guys, Jack here for Sam's Backyard Fishing. There's Sam right there. There's Trevor holding the net. And today we're going to be crabbing in Matagorda, Texas. Sorry about the wind, guys. I'm going to get a little wind action. I'm trying to cover it up the best I can, though. Here we go. Here's our first one. It's our regular net. Oh, we got a crab on our first try. There we go. Oh, it's just a regular blue crab here. Oh, the usual one that we catch down here in Texas. And what we're going to do, I'm going to put it in the bucket right there. Sorry if I was aiming down with the camera right there. But that's our net. There's really no effort in that one. Just pull it up. These ones over here that we're going to be doing, there's three of them and then two more over there. I don't think you can see them. It's what? a male. It's a male? Okay. So, kind of yeah. looks like a dog. Kind of looks like a dog. <laughs> if your dog looks like that, you should go to a hospital. Uh, these ones are going to be just a regular string. And we got Trevor over here with the net trying to get him as he pulls it up. You'll know if you have one on there as you pull it up because it'll be really tight. The only reason Sam is pulling out so fast is because he knows there's no crab on it once he pulls it in. I'd love to catch one on this on those type because it looks much cooler than just pulling it up. Nothing on these ones. These have hooks on them, so we haven't caught anything on these. Oh, we did catch a gaff top on them earlier. Okay, here we go. Oh, we only got two left here. Yep. No. Okay, last one. Say if you've got one on there. Trevor, get over here on our uh, on his right, because that's where it's gonna be. Okay, so we did catch crab, one crab. We've been crabbing all day today. Probably for about two or three hours. Uh, we've caught about, well, we'll show you once we get back up to the house over there. We'll show you what we caught. But now we're gonna take the bucket back, and Sam's gonna explain to you guys what we've been doing. Okay, we got the crab here. The only reason he's grabbing it like that is so it doesn't pinch him. These type of crabs can pinch you if you hold them by the back. Or, well, at least they try. Okay, well, another thing. You tell if it's a boy, but kind of, it kind of looks like a male part. But if it's a girl, all it will be, this little middle thing where you're looking, it'll just be a little semicircle. Yeah. And it'll be a blue color, just like the yeah. color of the claws. Yeah, yeah the, the girls have the orange claws. Okay. Anything else? Oh, um, by the way, those other twine ones we're using, all you have to do to make those, you just get a long piece of twine, tie on a little sinker at the end, a bass sinker, and then you tie it, you cannot use it because it's illegal, actually, so you tie on a, at least in Texas, but you tie on a piece of fresh cut bait from any fish. Preferably a mullet or croaker, and like whatever's indigenous to the area. And we've been waiting a little too long, you only wait like a minute or two, five minutes, and you can You can also use chicken necks. The way to catch the indigenous fish to use for the bait, for the crabs, you can use the cast net just like you, we used it in the previous video that Trevor showed you how to cast and Sam showed you how to cast. Just cast it in the waters near where you'll be crabbing. And here are all of our crabs. We've got about 15 in there or so under the towel. There's two layers of them. They're on ice right now. We're going to be cooking those up later. That's going to be tasty as hell. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Sam, Trevor, and Jack signing out. Thanks Later, for watching. Guys. See you later. Bye.